Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again, I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle. Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done. Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Revelio. This looks intriguing. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. Rebellion. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. That solves that. Rebellion. The one who stole our goblin help. I'd remember my father speak. What? You don't know magic. You've been there. We would have had that. Let me go. You release the trap. No one. You can get to sleep. Right. Confirmed. Rebellion. Rebellion. Charles won't get the best of me. Akio. Confringo. Revelio. So difficult. <sighs> Rebellion. I 
I should investigate. Revelio. It's been a bit cruel. Oh my, <sighs> what was that sound? <laughs> Cast my eyes closer. Best to be sure. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. Revelio. What are you up to now? Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Wonder who lives here. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Madame Navarro, how are you? Wonderful, thank you. How can I be of help? What do you have for sale? Let's see how I can assist you, my lovely. Aren't you sweet? I'll be happy to take this off your hands. Thank you for your time, my sweet. Revelio. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. <laughs> Something must be done about the vile thieves who've infested the area. Is everything all right, Madame... Olivier. Madame Olivier. And no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Clagmar Castle, disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trade. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvanas Selwyn arrived. Sylvanas Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. 
Sylvana Selwyn? I thought Victor Rookwood headed up the Ashwinders. Selwyn's one of Rookwood's lieutenants. Not quite as terrifying as Theophilus Harlow, but a menace nonetheless. Where is Clagmar Castle? Clagmar Castle's along the south coast, south and to the west of here. What's so dangerous about the Ashwinders? They're not your typical thieves and extortionists. Not that typical thieves and extortionists are lovely company. They would not leave poor Bella Navarro alone. She'd given them everything, but still they kept threatening her. She was ready to go back to her family in Italy. Almost lost her livelihood. They are ruthless. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no. I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. I only want Cragcroft to go back to normal. I'm tired of living under the thumb of Selwyn and... Sounds as if Sylvana Selwyn has to go. Revelio. This must be the castle that Sylvana Selwyn and his thieves are in. If I can just get to him, I should be able to disband the group. That's it for self. I should go and see Madame Olivia. Hang on! Nice time! Release me! Of course. Oh, you're bombarded! Aha! Back for more! Knew you would still! There's many on right! This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Have you heard any news about Sylvana Selwyn? Selwyn has been taken care of. You defeated Selwyn? Merlin's beard. 
A student took down one of Rookwood's top filth. Then I suppose this bounty is yours. Well deserved. I'm glad I could help protect Cragcroft from the Ashwinders. The thieves will finally leave us alone. Thanks to you. You're welcome in Cragcroft any time. It's such a pleasant place when it's not being threatened by Ashwinders. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. Come now, don't be stingy. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. Thank you. It's not right. Adolf, an Ashwinder. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. My apologies. I've not been myself since we last met. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. It's Ranrock I have to thank for losing Bardolf. <sighs> If only I could somehow rid our hamlet of these monsters. I'm simply at my wit's end. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. I can't believe he's never coming home. Part of me wants to avenge the loss of my brother, whilst another part of me simply wants to hide. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. One less human to worry about. One less human to worry about. I won't rest. Place your sack Ranrock has fooled you all, to your demise. One camp down, one more to go. That's the student camp. How nice 
persevered. Not quiet enough. Revelio. Both camps cleared. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Revelio. Nothing to poach in Arringer except spiders. Not worth the trouble, if you ask me. Legs are far too brittle. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Ah, a bardo. An ashwinder. Perhaps I will see him again. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. I should be going now. Thank you. Thank you. Sincerely. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Can't imagine you have much choice bringing Pratt back here. Between you and me, it wasn't so close to... Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin about my sweet friend Mary. So sorry, Mr. Dunn. She was an innocent victim. Poor Mary. Fighting for the Hamlet to the bitter end, no doubt. A noble sacrifice. She truly was a remarkable woman. Remarkable. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Hamlet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. 
I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Trouble's brewing and I'm without my friends. Revelio.
Revelio. Reparo. Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we?
This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah. Allow me to finish. The loyalty Woo. of Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey. Hey. The ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup... Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework, as a new student, no less. Well... It would seem that it certainly merits, oh, I'd say, 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. Hey! <laughs> 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 <laughs>